Scientists estimate that billions of species have lived on Earth since life began around three and a half billion years ago. And over the course of that time, 99% of them have become extinct. But scientists say we're now losing species at the fastest rate for millions of years. So what does this mean for the planet? And what does it mean for us? So species go extinct normally, this is a natural process, uh, but sometimes there are periods where a lot of species go extinct at a single event, and this is what it's called a mass, mass extinction. Scientists have identified five of these events in the history of the Earth, and from what they know, in each instance, around 75% of the planet's species disappeared over millions of years. So we expect a number of species to go extinct every few uh, uh, thousands of years. But currently we have evidence of a large number of species that have already gone extinct in the past uh, few decades or hundreds of years. And this is way higher than we'd expect just by chance. The expectation now is that the current extinction will be much faster. The most important factors are, is habitat transformation. This is particularly important in the tropics. Climate change, species exploitation, and uh, pollution. As soon as climate change starts interacting with this lack of habitat that we find, then that's when we're going to start seeing uh, thousands of species going extinct. There is the intrinsic value of a species, so um, polar bears are quite important for us and orangutans are quite important for us. And those species, once extinct, they'll never come back. I don't think humans are likely to go extinct in the near future. We have uh, incredibly broad needs then, and we can live anywhere, we can eat anything. It is likely that um, the changes that we're causing the environment will drive us to wars or drive us to human conflict and this may lead us to extinction. There are many things that we can do. In, in terms of uh, habitat transformation, for instance, we can uh, reduce deforestation in the tropics to zero. And all of this can be done without compromising the amount of food that we produce for ourselves. So there is no debate within the scientific community whether we need to save species or, or produce food. We can do both. But for climate change, we're just going to have to be more frugal, we're going to have to eat less meat, fly less, and just change our lifestyle. <laughs>